7.35 p.m. Central Time, we might as well get started here. Um, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the, the last Wisconsin chapter NRHS event of, uh, of the season. It is our um, online slideshow. It's the, um, um, the June 21st edition. We have four presenters lined up today uh, with four uh, disparate uh, and diverse programs that you're going to love. And uh, we thank you all for being here. And um, we ask that everybody stay muted. Uh, and at the conclusion of each of the programs, if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, please feel free then to uh, unmute yourself and, um, and, and go ahead. Um, so uh, with that, why don't we get started? Um, uh, and first of all, the other the other thing I want to say here is just a couple of announcements. Uh, thank you to uh, members of the Wisconsin chapter NRHS. Thank you for your membership because that's what that's what makes these uh, these these uh, these uh, events possible. Um, if you are not yet a member, please do check out our website www.nrhs wis.org. So um, uh, we will get started uh, with that. Uh, we will have an, an event during the summer for uh, our members, uh, and that will be a uh, East Troy Railroad um, lunch luncheon train uh, on the 6th of August, and uh, we are in the midst of working up the menu on that. And so once we get that all finalized, the choices we will uh, we will get that out to uh, all members. So uh, that's all we have going on for for now. Uh, our next meeting will be in September. So so with that, let us get started. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we have four uh, four wonderful presenters tonight, each uh, wonderful in their own way. And uh, the first and the last uh, presenter uh, happen to be brothers and. Um, and uh, so the first one will be uh, Marshall Beecher. Uh, he and William are the proprietors of the uh, Beecher Fest franchise. Uh, they, uh, they put together a, a fantastic multimedia presentation uh, that goes uh, hours, many hours on an evening in, uh, on a Friday evening in November. Uh, we can talk about a little, you could talk about that a little bit, Marshall and 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 William. Give us a little uh, little poop on that. It's something I know that you guys have been doing for a long, long time. It started off, I believe, as a slideshow in your dad's basement. If if I'm if I got the story right, and it's just grown, and uh, they uh, they are they are both very talented uh, photographers and artists in their own right, uh, and uh, great impresarios. Uh, for bringing some fine talent together as well. So um, that's something to, to keep in mind for, uh, for November. Um, so with that, I think we were going to get started. And so I will turn the, uh, the gavel over to uh, Mr. Marshall Beecher. Welcome. Thanks, Mike. Um, hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out and checking it out. I know it's summer, there's a lot going on. So it's nice to see everybody out here. A um, little quick background on the show. It's a 10 minute multimedia show I put together. It's two songs worth of, uh, worth of show. It's uh, North Central Indiana Railroads, kind of modern day stuff. Um, most of the stuff was shot, I'd say, in the last eight or nine years. So it spans a little bit of time. Um, there have been some changes out there with PTC and signals. I'm kind of a signal geek, so I'm into the older signals. So there was a lot of older signals on some of the railroads out there. So um, that's kind of the the general theme of most of what you'll see there's a little bit of video in it there's a little bit of there's photos so there's a little bit of everything that's done to music it's about 10 minutes long so it shouldn't be uh grueling or anything like that so uh without further ado i guess i'll i'll get it queued up here for you uh north central indiana Ra rails here
Okay, real quick too, just so people got a little background, I'll talk about a little bit of this. We're gonna start here, this is South Shore. This is their branch that goes out of Michigan City and it goes down to, um, there's a old uh, armory south on an old nickel plate line. And that's what this is. This is the South Shore heading down there uh, near Stillwell, Indiana. So this is out of Michigan City down to Stillwell, Indiana. I'll stop and do a couple things. I know some people were asking about some of the background on this. These next shots are the CF&E, it's a Chicago, Fort Wayne and Eastern. It's now uh, Genesee and Wyoming. Um, they own, they run part of the old Penzi line that comes out of uh, basically like Hammond, Indiana and runs towards Fort Wayne, Indiana. It'd be the old Broadway limited line that the uh, that they use. They've had all kinds of different power and all kinds of different trains. So that's why there's all kinds of paint schemes on here. This is the CF&E part right here. All right, some of this might look like the Masabi, but it's the uh, CKIN, the Chesapeake and Indiana Railroad. Um, they run a bunch of old CSX branch lines uh, around La Crosse, Indiana. Um, they've gotten rid of most of these old Masabi SD9Ms that you see here, but um, up until not long ago, they had a pretty good fleet of them and they ran, they're basically grain and unit trains for uh, the NS and for CSX. Um, this is a train coming from Malden, Indiana with a pair of the SD9Ms, which are getting, uh, now all pretty much gone. This here is uh, Indiana Northeastern. It's all pretty self-explanatory. It's about a lot of the old Wabash Fourth Sub up in uh, North Central, Northeastern Indiana, parts of Ohio, parts of uh, Michigan. Um, just another little scrappy little short line, kind of like the mineral range, kind of mom and pop. Um, move a lot of grain tonnage and just a neat outfit and very friendly people. Um, so this is stuff from their railroad.
Uh, the rest of this is like mainline stuff, NS mainline. It's going to start with the Marion branch, which shows you some of the old position light signals. And then the last segment is the Chicago line on the NS, which at the time had old New York Central signals. Uh, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Smile. The only sign of trouble dripping from a turn sky Hard as a desert flower leaning into the devil wind The seeds might be
All right, thanks everybody for the second time around there. Appreciate that. <laughs> Marshall Beecher, everybody, give him a round of applause. Second All right, time thanks. Charm. Beautiful. Thanks, Ken. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Beautiful, you guys. Thank you. But wonderful. Thank you for that, uh, Marshall. Sure. Does anybody have any questions or comments for Marshall before we move on to our next one? Great using David Crosby there, Marshall. Uh, I knew I knew somebody would pick that up. Thanks, <laughs> Where Sounds was like that? Steely Dan a little bit. Right. Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah. Where Good was work, that uh, street running trackage uh, with the uh, position that, light signals? That's on the Marion Branch in Indiana. It's uh, Warsaw, Indiana. They got like a small section. It used to be a two two way street called Hickory Street, and they've now since made it, I guess, a one way street. I've been out there in a while now, but. Uh, they still do it, and uh, they roll right along pretty good through there. Of course, all the, the Pennsylvania era position light signals are all gone. Oddly, it was a the Marion Branch was a New York Central line, so the fact that it got uh, Pens you know Pennsylvania signals in the, in the PC era made it kind of an interesting place. But uh, it's all been resignaled now. But um, yeah, it was a neat place. I mean, it's still neat to check out, and they still run a good amount of trains out there. So it's pretty cool. Thanks. Thanks. Nice. Anything else for Marshall? Marshall, thank you very much. Thank you for being part of our uh, program tonight. And All again, the time. Really, 